Hey everyone. In our first two Forgiveness Fridays, we said that forgiveness is not releasing anybody from accountability. And forgiveness isn't a should. Nobody should tell. We're not telling anybody that you should forgive. It's too personal. It's just an invitation. It's just a possibility. So I'm on the Mayo Clinic's website right now. And under their Healthy Lifestyle Adult Health section, they have an article called Forgiveness, Letting Go of Grudges and Bitterness. And it says, when someone you care about hurts you, you can hold on to the anger and resentment or embrace forgiveness and move forward. Today, let's give you a why forgive. Let's look at a few reasons why. And basically, because it's good for you. It's good for us to forgive. The Mayo Clinic says, consider how forgiveness can lead you down the path of physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. And then they go on to list like 10 different things. What are the benefits of forgiving somebody? Lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, decreased risk of a heart event, <clears throat> a stronger immune system. So I'm a retired chiropractor and I know they, they taught us in school 30 years ago that every single one of us has cured cancer every day. We all have a handful of cells, eight to 12 cells. I don't know how they figure this stuff out, but apparently we have eight to 12 cells that go cancerous every day. That is, they lose their normal check mechanism and they start to reproduce and make more cells without control. So you get this uncontrolled growth. That's what cancer is. And um, forgiveness can help with that, apparently, according to the Mayo Clinic, not me, because it builds a stronger immune system because it's your immune system that recognizes abnormal cells, just like your immune system recognizes anything that's not normal self tissue, bacteria, viruses, COVID, RSV, a splinter, dirt, and cancer. And your immune system gobbles those up every day. So we've all cured cancer every day. And sometimes we get cancer because our immune system's overwhelmed for different reasons. Now, that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down, but forgiveness can help with that because it can strengthen your immune system. Healthier relationships. So be honest with yourself for a second. How's your relationship with your spouse or your dad or your mom or coworkers or lifelong friends? Does anybody honestly want to have better relationships? Forgiveness does that. It's the key to healthier, stronger, deeper, more satisfying and honest relationships. Healthy relationships, improved mental health. Okay, also as a chiropractor, we had intake forms. Every time a new patient comes in, you gotta fill out the paperwork, I know. One of the things on the form is that section where you cross off everything you have. So there's like 50 of the most common ailments and uh, you check off the ones you have. The most common two things checked every year for 30 years on our new patient intake forms anxiety and depression forgiveness can help with that not in not according to this dumb chiropractor but according to the mayo clinic itself healthy relationships improved mental health less anxiety less depression lower blood pressure stronger immune system improved heart health better self-esteem okay there's a few reasons why you might want to consider forgiving somebody today because it's good for you